Punk Revolution now. Today we are going to be reviewing Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus's new album, Plastic Hearts. Going to be entirely honest with you, it's hard for me to take Miley Cyrus seriously as a musician. I don't really associate Miley Cyrus with being a musician. I think of her more as like a, a pop culture icon. You know, I grew up seeing her on TV as Hannah Montana, so I kind of just associate her with that, and I'm always seeing some bullshit on the magazines about what strain of marijuana did Miley Cyrus smoke this weekend or whatever. I don't know, just the usual, the pop culture, whatever. So, you know, kind of low expectations for this album. Maybe it'll be kind of cool. I, the way I'm kind of perceiving it being marketed uh, is as an album that has a little bit of like a rock and roll edge to it. So we shall see if that, that works out. That sounds kind of interesting to me. Let's start by taking a look at the album cover. This is atrocious. Miley Cyrus is appropriating punk rock culture for her freaking pop album. She's dressing up like a punker. She's put herself on the cover looking like a punk. And she better be, she better put some freaking punk or some rock in here or else I'm gonna throw a fucking fit. And you know what, let me just break those fantasies right now. As much as you might fantasize about this being Miley Cyrus tapping into the world of rock and roll and bringing the rock and roll edge back to the mainstream, that's the way it's marketed. Not even, not even close, honestly. I mean, like, this this is just electro pop that uses a little bit of mildly distorted guitars as samples. I do feel like they're trying to build at least some sort of illusion that there's some sort of rock and roll thing going in here. Like the opening track, what the fuck do I know? Really fast paced song is probably gonna make it into tons of people's running playlists or whatever. I like how fast paced it is. I like how aggressive it is. So it does kind of have a little bit of a uh, slightly more of an edge than your typical pop song. Even the, the lyrics, what the fuck do I know? Let's get high. Whatever. You know, it, it's trying to come off as a little badass, but moving forward through this album, Plastic Hearts, okay, that's fine. Not great. And then boom, Angels Like You, the third song, just the whole album just fucking cheered, screeched to a stop for this slow, fucking, boring, generic ballad that just is this hurts your soul because it's just like, oh, fuck, I thought this was going to be like a fun album. No. And from there on, it's just like the album just has like no clue what it's doing. It just sounds like Miley Cyrus is just kind of like throwing darts at a dartboard, holding, hoping something is going to hit the target that's going to get a lot of streams, that's going to get really popular. We got Prisoner in there. We got Midnight Sky. These are songs very clearly written to try to get as much radio play as possible and... You know, she kind of succeeded there. Like, these songs are getting a lot of radio play featuring Dua Lipa, whatever, the whole thing. But, like, they're frankly, like, from, like, a strictly, like, catchy pop perspective, these songs aren't that good. Like, Prisoner is going to be on the radio for a month and everyone's going to forget about it soon because the melody isn't that good. It's not one you want to sing along to. It's just like, Prisoner, Prisoner. Ba, 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 ba. Like it's just like not it's like it's not fun to sing along to and then of course the end of the album kind of closes it off with a few more rock songs they have this horrible horrible cover of Blondie's song Heart of Glass Heart of Glass is a great song because Blondie's voice is just so so cool and relaxed but Miley Cyrus's voice she is just so like like aggressively wailing just wants to be the star and it's like shut up you just fucking ruined this song that's not the vibe of the song at all it's just a downgrade from the cover directly it's wah it's fine i'm giving this album a four out of ten not great not terrible but just a poorly executed gimmick pop album that's that's fine that's all i gotta say folks thanks so much for watching please like comment subscribe if you like my videos it helps people find my videos whatever it's very helpful for me so thank you so much punk revolution